Good morning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are starting a new series of drawing classes, drawing tutorials, and I'm going to be making some uh, portraits and showing you some portraits, also some acrylics and painting as well. Uh, so please subscribe to my channel and. Uh, what we're going to do today is to draw this portrait and this is a portrait by Paul Suzanne. It's a wonderful drawing and it's going to give us a good way for us to practice after Paul Suzanne. So let's begin and one of the things you have to be able to do is to visualize this image onto this paper, onto this white space right here. So how do you do this? It's by actually taking the line in with your eyes and then projecting. It's like photographing with your mind and then projecting it back onto the paper. That's how this works. That's how an artist really paints or draws a picture. Okay, so right now we're going to think about sketching this. And uh, let's begin. Uh, right now okay so here you go so the first thing you're going to do is you need a reference point there are many ways to start drawing but I'm going to show you the, the most common way or the first method that I'm going to show you is to use a reference point let's say this right here on the forehead it could be anything but I'm going to start here with the forehead okay so you see how I see the forehead right here? I see it here. I first see the line and then I draw it. And what I'm trying to do here is to... So now that I have this reference point right of the forehead, I can build around it. You see it? Right there with the forehead line. Then I'm going to visualize this line. It's going to be right here. You see how I'm moving the pencil up and down without actually drawing anything because I want to see the line first. You see? And then it goes like that, okay? We're going to come back to it later. But And you see how I'm breaking the pencil as well because the picture is right on this white space. I see it, and you should be able to kind of see it. It's like you're tracing what you visualize or what you project from your mind, okay? So here's the eyebrow. And then the eyebrow comes up here like this. You visualize. And then you judge the distances. You see the distance between this. There's the nostril. There's the bridge of the nose. And the nostril that you can see. That's the way it is. I'm going to come back and fix it, but what I want to do right now is to get a basic, I want to map this out. I, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about the distances between this and this, this and this, the eyes, between the eyes, the distance between the eyes. These are my judgments that I'm going to be following right now as I lay out the map for this. And right about there is the chi, the this part right here and then it's coming down this way right and then the mouth you see the line of the mouth the upper lip and a small suggestion of the lower lip right there then you have this the mustache right and so you're going to make sure that these distances, my concern right now is to make sure that these distances are all absolutely perfect. You see that distance right there? And I'm still sketching it. This is the basic mapping stage, right? And each time you visualize and then you see to get those distances, angles, the tilt of the head. This is my concern right now, okay? So 
so there you see how I got that right now we come back up here it's coming down this way like that the hat goes like so and you see now I have the forehead right there okay and you see how I'm gonna keep my pencil very light right now because I'm gonna have to fix a lot of things in there it's not correct yet right so there's the cheekbone and I'm just placing the it's kind of mapping really so, and, I, and I'm breaking the line you see how I'm taking my pencil off it's not like a direct line you don't have to you, you can always you know it's there right so you look you trace you see you see right there you see there and now I'm gonna refine this a little bit more right and really look at these you know see if it's coming out right there you go all right and there is the hat you know at this point i'm not even worried about uh, anything except to get these outlines of these forms right in the right position you see the chin coming down here like this goes up like that all right nice so here you go is the neck the neck is coming here like this see there is this right and then here you have the so what I want you to understand basically ladies and gentlemen is that you visualize this you actually see it on the paper before you draw it and that's what's very very important and, that, and that's how the artist visualizes you're able to see things in your mind very very clearly but it's very hard to recall it into your conscious memory that's very hard you need mind control but we're going to discuss all these things in future drawings. Please subscribe to my channel. Tell all your friends about it. Share. Click the like button. And uh, definitely subscribe. And hit that notification bell. So you get notified every time I put these things out. And I plan to put one every single day. Because we're going to practice a lot of these you have to do thousands of these before you really get good and i'm going to tell you it's a wonderful wonderful practice it's good for the mind good for the body good for the soul good for spirituality it's got incredible benefits to learn how to draw so i congratulate all you people that are learning how to draw i hope you continue and keep it up be persistent it's a, it's, a, it's therapeutic all right, so there you see how it's coming out now beautifully, ladies and gentlemen. You see we're coming close to um, what we want it to be, right? But I'm still at, this is the part one. I'm going to put a part two on this and refine this and show you how to refine it. But for this part one, we are able to establish a clear, satisfactory, basic layout of the positions okay then we're gonna in part two we're gonna look at uh, details how to add details shades and lights and shades and everything else but for now what is my concern is is that these distances between the eyes the distance between the eye and the eyebrow the distance between this do they match this picture okay those are the ones that are going to bring the lightness out perfectly right so as, as you can see every single thing matters for you to get the lightness the details matter right but at this point we are looking at the broader relationships for example is the bridge of the nose long enough or is it too short is it too thick you know is, is this look is that the distance between the mouth right and uh, the upper lip 
and the lower lip, the distance between. You see, I'm still making a few corrections here. You see how it's getting better as we go along. You see that? That's what we want to focus on right now, okay? So I'm continuing to refine and always use an eraser. You see how I'm going to use my eraser right now to see if I can fix something. And this seems like it's a little thicker. It has to be a little... This must move up a little. There you go. You see now that's a little better. So those are corrections. You always have to have an eraser handy for you to make these corrections. So... Once again, this is Paul Cezanne, everybody. This is a fabulous, fabulous, probably a quick sketch by the great master. So this is how you do this. And, you know, I'm coming close to actually, we are limited with time, you see, so I'm trying to do it a little bit fast, but I would suggest that you do it slowly, taking your own sweet time and working on this carefully. You see, now I'm going to refine all this a little bit more in the last few minutes that we have before we go to part two and certainly tune into part two. You're going to see how I finish this and tune into a lot more that I'm going to be putting up every single day, new ones, so you can practice along with me because this is in real time. As you can see, we're doing this in real time. Uh, it's not speeded up, it's just that I'm, going, I'm doing it fast. But you get the idea of how to visualize the drawing onto the paper before you, before you put the pen to the paper. You must see what is in front of you and trace it. Now I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to repeat this many, many times so you guys get it, guys. So, uh, very important. Look, you see how I'm seeing it first? And you see how this is now taking shape, coming together almost perfectly, if I may say so. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding, everybody. And once again, my name is Mel. My nickname is Mel. My real name is Amsamali. So you can call me Amsamali or Mel. And please send me comments. Send me, uh, press the like button as well. Please subscribe, support the channel. I'm going to be putting up a lot more videos. We are going to be showing painting, acrylic painting, oil painting and everything else. So I'm going to say, guys, at this point, because of time limitations, you see we are very close to what we want it to be. And in part two, I'm going to add to this and show you how to kind of finish it. There are many ways to finish it, but I'm going to show you a very one way to finish these drawings, all right? I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope to see you all in the next video and in the future. All right, have a great day, guys. Thank you.